Ciao my friends, welcome to my channel. This is where I teach you easy recipes for everyday cooking. And today is this really hearty lentil soup that I'm gonna teach you how to make. And if you love cheese, you're gonna love the toppings that we put on this soup. Pronto? Allora andiamo a cucinare. So to start we have an onion diced and you want to dice them into small dices um, because this is lentils and everything is small with this particular stew. And I'm going to add about, I don't know, one, two tablespoons of olive oil just to kind of help the onions start sauteing with about a teaspoon of salt. And we just want to stir that around and let those start to cook until they get translucent. In the meantime, I'm going to get my um, carrots and celery ready. So again, like I said, these are going to be small dices, so even the carrots and celery need to be a small dice. All right, so by the time we're done um, chopping our celery and carrots, our onions should be ready, and so they are. So I'm going to now add those to the pot, and we want to continue to let those saute. So while I'm waiting for that to saute, I want to share with you um, a pepper Garlic, garlic pepper puree that I kind of do. So I've got about a tablespoon of peppercorns in here, and I have a rough chop of about four garlic cloves that I'm gonna add. I like to do it in a mortar and pestle, and this is actually one that I got out of, got from Italy, so I really love it. And you just wanna break up those peppercorns and crush the garlic. And now when I've kind of got most of it crushed, now I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil to this. And I wanna continue crushing, but in a pressing down and circular motion, because now I'm trying to actually create a garlic pepper paste. This is gonna add a lot of flavor to your soup. Now it looks like our garlic pepper puree is done, and this is what, what it's gonna look like. Now if you don't have a mortar and pestle, um, you could try doing this by just using regular black pepper and mincing some garlic with some olive oil and just the back of a spoon and just kind of get those flavors to kind of meld together and just kind of get creamy the way this is. So, so now that this is ready, I'm just going to set this aside. Okay, it looks like our vegetables are all sauteed now. So to that, I'm going to add a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes with the juice. And then I have some lentils. And your lentils, you want to make sure that you rinse them. Lentils come in a variety of colors. You could really use any lentil that you want. That's fine. But just make sure you rinse them and just check to make sure there's no little um, fine rocks in there because I have found some stones every once in a while. So let's just add that to the pot. And to start, we're going to add four cups of broth. And if we need more, we will add that later on in the cooking process. But I want to start with at least four cups. And you could use any kind of broth. I'm using bone broth, but chicken broth or vegetable broth would be fine if you wanted to uh, keep it vegetarian. And so now I want to add that pepper um, garlic puree that I made. All right, we want to give this a nice stir. We want to bring this to a boil. We want the lentils to cook. And it could take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the lentils that you have. And um, as it starts cooking, we'll look at the process and I'll, and I'll show you what to do if we need more liquid and of course, how to dress it up with all this wonderful cheese we're gonna be using. So while we're waiting for the soup to cook, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the mortar and pestle. Um, if you own one of these, uh, one of the things that my students ask is how do you keep these so that they're always looking good? So I just wanted to share with you what I do um, with mine. I start by, after I've cleaned it out, you can use um, some warm soapy water to, to clean it out. But once it's dried, I just take my olive oil and I add, I don't know, about half a teaspoon, not much, maybe even a quarter, with a towel. And I just go around and I oil the inside of the bowl and all around the outside. The oil is gonna help the marble um, stay intact and not get discolored as you use, you know, mostly, you know, green basil. You don't get that green color, but whatever you decide to chop in here, it won't get discolored. And then with that little bit of oil that I have on my rag, I actually just go ahead and use, and because I have a wooden um, pestle, is that I just go ahead and just go with the wood and just oil it all up so that the wood stays nice and moist. Um, because if it doesn't, it will crack as it dries out. So this will help keep moisture in it. So every time I use it, um, this is what I do. And then I can just put it away and then it's good until the next time. So I hope that helps for those of you who have one of these. So to serve our lentil soup, uh, I will show you how I like to serve it. We're gonna spoon it in the bowl first. Now, if you've never had lentil soup, it's really a good source, especially if you are um, interested in a plant-based diet. Uh, you can definitely make the same soup, but add meat to it if you want. But lentils are really good. They're good for you um, nutrition-wise. They have a lot of iron, zinc, potassium. So I like to sprinkle some uh, green onions. And then I also 
like to sprinkle a little bit of feta cheese. And if you've never had burrata, I love burrata on top of soup. It is a mozzarella cheese on the outside and then inside it's very creamy as you can see. So I just kind of slice it down the side and down the middle. And then I take it and I place it on top of my soup. And if it couldn't get any more yummier, is then I take an avocado and I place that on top. And this is a really hearty um, soup. It has a lot of uh, good healthy fats and, and of course the, the benefits of the lentils. So if you've never tried lentils, I really urge you to try this soup. I know you will love it. The recipe is listed below. And until next time, ciao, ci vediamo dopo.